James with PassiveProfitEarnings.com, and I'm on the Prosperity Show uh, TV show, and it is amazing to be here. And, you know, I, I got to say, you definitely need to get on the Prosperity Show to learn great things and get that mindset for success. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got none other than James. James, man, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing unbelievable. Thank you, Prosper. And like I say, it's an honor to be on your, on your show, okay? I, I mean, like, you know, I appreciate you reaching out to me and, like, you know, just having given me an opportunity to be on your show because this is awesome. Oh, this is fine because you know what? Your message caught me a little bit, uh, James, because you wanted to provide a site that provides, um, you know, mindset to other entrepreneurs, providing them with tools and experiences so that they can be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, you know what? It all aligns with how we also do business here, trying to help other entrepreneurs. Now, tell me a little bit about your story. Who's James and why should we care at this particular moment? Well, first of all, you know, it's like uh, with digital marketing, I first became interested in college. And ever since then, it's been a complete obsession of mine. Uh, just something I've, I've grown in a passion of and that I wanted to get into because I saw such great influencers on online, such as Grant Cardone, Prosper, you know, you know and also not to mention uh, another, another fan uh, that I'm part of is uh, Pat Flynn. He started SPI. You know, it just, I saw these, these people making their mark online and I thought, well, why shouldn't it be me? So it's like, I, I just decided to start working on a blog, something that people are interested in, albeit maybe saturated, but there's still a massive interest in it. And then people that can get into it, um, you know, can really share what their side is. You know, everyone has a, has a mark that they can provide something different than the other person. And, you know, I definitely believe I can do that with, my online blog now you know keep in mind i'm still working on it but i have the mentality that you know i'm not going to wait till everything's perfect i'm just going to throw myself into it and work on it and continually gradually work on it and you know as you can tell from my from my blog the line the catching line below it on passive uh you know on passive profit earnings you know transparency so that's what i want to provide i mean i don't i'm not going to present that blog when it's completely done, I'm going to make it a working progress, you know, so it can show people that, hey, you know, it is, it is something that anybody can do. It can start and maybe it can become something massive. That, so. is, that is so beautiful in as much as a lot of people, they don't know how to actually start or what to start off with. What then inspired you to go in this sort of channel? Because digital marketing is such a big scope. You can do the SEO, the SEM, why blogging? Is that a strong point of yours or what, what inspired you to start a blog? Well, definitely blogging was an inspiration for me because I could see that other people were successful sharing their stories and other people's influences on their blog. Not to mention some people say blogging's dead. I don't think so. I think blogging's, you know, just starting out. I mean, it's an alternate to podcasting. If you think about it, podcasting is pretty much the same thing as if you were you know, to blog, but it, everything's on paper and has nice articles. Uh, but, you know, I, I definitely think podcasting is something that I, I want to keep in mind, too, when I expand and eventually get my audience bigger. You know, that's something I want to provide, too, with the blog, too, so. Great stuff. All right, so you're just starting. You're really fresh at this. Um, they obviously are some hurdles and you seem to be, um, you know, going past them like uh, Hussein Bolt, who's going through a hundred, um, you know, meter race. What, what, what sort of challenges would one anticipate when they're starting off, um, you know, with, with this whole internet, digital marketing, blogging sort of, um, you know, scenario? Well, I have to say the first thing and the major hurdle that anyone starts out with is that you know when you first start out with you're bombarded with all these flashy things that you can start in programs and you know build on uh, you know the thing is organization you know you got to have you got to have a goal you have have everything set the direction you want to have the niche you want to focus on 
And that's something that I definitely want to strive to, you know, you know tell others in, in this interview is that um, you got to have an organization and a goal set. Uh, how do you eat an elephant? I mean, you think of an elephant, it's massive. Where do you even begin? I mean, that's how internet marketing is. I mean, but if you think about it, if you break it into parts, not to saying I'm condoning, you know, slaughtering any elephants, but I'm saying if you break it into parts, manageable, biteable, you can really see the progress and, you know, progress in itself. Momentum perpetuates momentum and you can really see the progress that you're making. So the, typically how I do it is I have the ultimate goal. One, I have an ultimate goal. And then I have maybe three or five medium goals that I want to attain. And then, of course, there's like five, maybe ten small goals that I can achieve. Very attainable, very easily attainable, and as, as well, other relatable goals below that. So if you take that into management, you can start with what you can finish first and then work your way up. And then ultimately, you'll achieve your ultimate goal, which is my ultimate goal is establish my blog and an audience. So, Wow. All right. Obviously, yeah, some people just fall on the first hurdle and you have yeah. just really broken it down that you've got to break down the elephant, mm -hmm. so to speak. So you can eat the trunk up until the tail, but it's doable. All right. So when, when somebody is starting and they've broken down all these pieces, but they're not seeing the traction, there's nobody who's sharing their stuff. There's nobody who's liking or posting on their comment. How else would you encourage them to keep going? Because that's one thing that's going to happen, and it always happens to a lot of people. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, like, you know, there's endless possibilities you could do to really hustle and get your, your name out there. I mean, one, the opportunity fell in my lap when you reached out to me on my Instagram account. I mean, that, that, was, that was miraculous for me. I was like, oh, my God, this is an opportunity I definitely got to take. So I was like, I was excited. I, I immediately messaged you back. And, you know, here I am with this interview right now. But I have to say for other people that um, the, the way you could start out with is, like, get involved with forums, forums related to your niche. Uh, get out there and reach out to them. You know, make, it, you know, make a, a relationship with the people and audience there. And, you know, eventually you could reach out to the actual host of that forum and see if you could maybe advertise your, your blog or, or whatever niche you're focusing on to, you know, attribute that audience into your, your business. Another thing you could do is like, you know, you could look for speaking events. I know it's very intimidating to think speaking in front of other people, but, you know, if you want to take that hustle and take that leap, you could reach out with education uh, classes, people who are looking for other entrepreneurs to speak and get your name out there. And like, you know, a lot of people could see that and you could relate your, your blog or your website, you know, with the address and people before you know it can really attribute to the audience. Another thing is social media, social media. I mean, you don't even have to worry about uh, backlinking as much, building a backlinking, you know, to your blog as much if you focus on social media and also getting out there and reaching out to um, well-known entrepreneurs like, you know, uh, Pat Flynn or uh, Alex and Lauren from Create and Go. Uh, I'm sure they'd be more than willing to, you know, share their story with you. I mean, um, you know, or your story with them uh, and get that all, get that additional audience. Um, and I think uh, another thing is that, you know, just, you gotta, you gotta focus on, the people who really inspire you too, you know, to keep that momentum. You got to get um, involved with people who are going to elevate you. Uh, so you want to get with like-minded people. I, I think that's where a lot of people lose traction is that they don't talk with people who are like-minded and who can help elevate themselves, you know, with that, with that mentality, that mindset. And, uh, you know, you got to reach out to professionals. Uh, so I think that's very important, you know. I mean, like, uh, look at, Ariana Huffington, she started out her blog just, you know, from scratch, I'm sure. And then she built it up, you know, based on her passion and what she wrote about, you know, on American news and opinions. And then before you know it, she was getting all these other people involved and it helped expand and grow her blog. So, I mean, there's so many different possibilities. You just got to choose a path. And then once you choose that path, then you choose another one. And then before you know it, you have multiple links in which you can bring that audience to your blog. So that's something I'm going to definitely strive for. 
And that's something I definitely see in, you know, your, your growing business. I mean, that's, it's phenomenal how it's, how it's gone. And I, I remember days when I saw you on Instagram when you first started posting. And it's just amazing how, how much traction you've gotten since then. So, you know, you're an inspiration as well. So. Great stuff. Thank you. Thank you, man. You see, at the end of the day, um, you, there's nobody that really becomes self-made. You, everybody else rests on the shoulders of people. And you've mentioned some really good names, Ariane, Ariane Huffington, who is actually a really big inspiration of mine, um, especially, you know, the way she has brought up the whole brand and created a media company out of um, her own business. Now, in, you know, you might have all those people that we can look out for, for inspiration. How do you handle the voices at home or the voices at the barbecue when we are around and surrounded by family that doesn't understand what we are doing? And, you know, how, how do you tune out that noise? Because obviously it's, it's going to be there. All right. And somebody who's watching this video right now at James would probably be thinking, Oh, I can't, I can't do that. I don't, I don't have free time because I'm always having to look after my kids or I have to look after my wife or things like that. How do you tune out, um, you know, the, the negativity around yourself in order to be a star player and to be, um, you know, always on top? Well, I mean, like, you know, definitely mindset is everything. I mean, you've got to, you definitely have to have a mind track on what you want and where you want to go. And you can't let, you know, other influences, you know, distract from that. I mean, definitely your, your, your parents and close friends, they have a phenomenal influence on what you do and, you know, how you do it. Uh, and I say, you know, you don't want to listen to them. I mean, you got to think in, in this prospect in that, um, are they living a life that you want to live? If not, then why even listen to them? I mean, you, you know, a lot of people think that there's, you know, some crazy ideas out there and people are pursuing. And those people who were, who had crazy ideas, mind you, are, you know, Bill Gates. I mean, I'm sure probably a lot of people thought, why even have an operating system? DOS, DOS works fine. You know, why even go anywhere else than that? No, I mean, like he quit college. He saw that, you know, there was a market for what he could provide in a service that people were interested in. And you got to go for it. I mean, you can't just listen to other people. I mean, you got to prove them wrong. Matter of fact, I think of it as a challenge. If, if they have any negative uh, influence about it and, you know, I, I share it with them and they say something negative about it, like, oh, well, you're a naysayer. I'm not going to listen to you. You're not living the life I want to live. And, you know, I, you're not going to be affecting the people that I want to affect. So. Oh, great stuff. Because the one thing that really stops people is everything that we've mentioned around here. People um, probably think they don't have the time, but you've mentioned that you can work around that. You do manage your time. You've also mentioned that the people that are around you, they, if they're not where you want to reach, then they're not any good to yourself. You've also mentioned that people have to seek out mentors or have to seek out inspirational people so that they can model their success and see that it is actually quite possible. What is the one last thing that if you had not known, you would not be doing your business right now? What is that one thing that somebody is just waiting for that one push? And maybe if they hear it from you, um, you might be uh, the one person that um, gets them off of their chair and actually starts being and doing and having a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Okay. The one thing I would say is that, um, you know, if you're currently working a job like me, I work nine to five, you got to make the time. You got to get that hustle in because like if you have a passion or an interest or even you an inkling on what you want to do and that you want to share with the world, you should do it. I mean, definitely, you know, it's, it is a grind. I mean, you, you get home, all you want to do is just want to, you definitely want to spend time with your wife or your spouse or your partner. I mean, you got to make time for that. That's important. But uh, you definitely want to also work the late hours on work on building something that you want to provide for yourself. I mean, that, that side hustle, nine to five doesn't work anymore. Okay, nine to five doesn't provide you the prosperity that you could have in your future. I mean, like you see people going broke. It's because the system's broken. I mean, you got to go for a side hustle that you could catapult yourself to, you know, greater heights 
and get off the dependency on, on another manager. What I'm saying is like, if you're on the couch right now and you're not working towards anything, I mean, you're like, uh, you're not going to get anywhere. I mean, if you work towards something, it's better to work towards something 10 years and make it than work at nothing at all. And 40 or 60 years from now, well, I mean, you'd be pretty old, but you know, you, you're in retirement, you got nothing to show for it. You didn't make a mark and you didn't become an influence that could help others. So that's what I'd say. Stay motivated and keep moving forward. That's all you can do. Oh, that's that's beautiful. When you mentioned you you there sitting on a couch, I had to double take. <laughs> you know, I was like, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be in this show. But James, you've been fantastic, man. This has been a very informative, um, you know, segment of the um, online prosperity show. You have mentioned and have enlightened us on you know the aspects of you know time management and how to stay motivated and how to actually just go and start because some people are just sitting there and not doing much you know and they're hoping that maybe the situation will change and maybe somebody's going to come and knock on their house's door and then tell them hey it's time but i don't think it's going to happen well thank you so much james now if somebody has been inspired and has been enlightened by your work so far how can they get a hold of you I would say that uh, the best way to get a hold of me is uh, probably get on my blog, uh, www.passiveprofitearnings.com. Um, I just set up my uh, my email automation, so you you just put in your your email address, your name and email address, and it will add you to the email uh, list and I'd definitely outreach to the people. Uh, another thing you could do is my Instagram account. And I'm, event, I'm getting, going to get into Pinterest soon because, like, you know, I'm going to expand in that. But uh, another thing is my uh, Pinterest account, you know, which is uh, my inter, uh, excuse me, Instagram account, which is uh, um, Passive Profit Earnings, right? So you could reach me that. Just message me. Uh, um, or my email address, you know, you know is, is definitely a, a providable um, as a contact. Of course, through automation, but I'd be happy to share that with anybody once they reach out to me. So, Great stuff. I'm hoping that um, somebody would have been motivated, especially you that's watching this video right now, because it's time to get off the PD party and actually start a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Um, and I think between me and James, we have come up with a few nuggets that you can actually utilize to start any more while you're having less struggle um, with whatever business you're going to be starting. Now, if you want to get a hold of uh, James Passive Profit Earnings.com, I'll put all that in the uh, comments below. And I cannot thank you enough, James, for spending your wonderful morning with us on this show today. Thank you so much. Oh, it's been an honor. Thank you. Great stuff. Good stuff. You're a pro at this. Are you sure this is your first time? Yes, this is this is definitely my first time. Can you believe that I was introverted before I even started? So Oh, that that doesn't work in the online space, man. You've got to put yourself out there. People got to know about you. I'm going to stop recording.